Hello and welcome to our new workshop. In this workshop, we would like to show you how you can use the AI PIA integrated in Paper Office to independently find out certain document values, read them out, and provide them as variables. This step to the variable acquisition can be found in the PIA dialog of the automated storage system in the Document Template Creation area and is described in detail in our other workshop. The link to it can be found in the video description. After adding the document to Paper Office, click through the steps until you reach the intermediate step labeled Read Out and Provide Variables. As you can see, in the right area the preview is displayed transparently in the background. In the foreground, PIA extracts the entire raw text from the document and lays it over the transparent preview of your document. Click with the left mouse button on a container from which you want to read out the data. As in the workshop example, the date on the document. This is automatically entered in the Basic tab of the Document Properties. Simply move the left mouse button over the value and it appears enlarged in the preview next to the window. On the left side there are option fields, which you can define for this container. As a first step, enter the name for the variable. The next step is to define the position of the container. If the future documents contain the value in exactly the same place as you specify in the document template, Select the option for positioning in the selected container, which is always exactly in the same position. However, if you are not sure if the positioning of the variable can change, choose another option and work with regular expressions. Working with regular expressions is described in a separate workshop. Click on Test Variable to test which variable value will result. As you can see, the value of the variable is date colon date. However, we only need the date, which should be entered automatically later in the corresponding date entries. Therefore, mark the term date together with the colon and save it to the clipboard by pressing Ctrl C. Now paste the entered value into the field labeled Always Remove These Words by pressing Ctrl V. Test the variable again. As you can see, exactly the value we need is read out. Now save the variable by clicking on Save. This works with all values from your document, as well as with the value Invoice Amount, so we can later have this value automatically entered in the Document Properties under the Receipt tab. Click on the container to read out the value. Assign a name to this as well, such as Amount, and test the variable. As in the previous example, if the name USD is not needed, enter it in the corresponding field and test it again. Save this variable as well. All variables that you create for a document will be listed. When you have finished creating them, click on Confirm and Continue. Now you will proceed to the last step of creating the document templates, which was already described in the workshop mentioned at the beginning. Now save the document template by clicking on Save Document Template and Define Storage Mask, and define a storage mask for this document in the next step. The Storage Mask Management opens. Now click on Create New Storage Mask. First, define the folder in which the document will be saved when the document template recognition is activated. To do this, click on the Select button and select any folder on the left. Now go to the Variables tab to insert the variables you have just created. You can also use other variables that are provided in the Automatically Available Variables section. These can be used, for example, to automatically read out the file name of the document and store it, or to enter the date. In the upper area, you can see the variables just deposited for this document. Copy the variable by clicking on the blue Copy symbol. Then go to the Basic tab to insert the variable in the corresponding field. Paste the variable into the field by pressing the Ctrl V key combination. You can do the same with the Automatically Available Variables. For example, by copying today's date and pasting it again into Basic tab into Inbox On. The variable for amount created earlier can be inserted in the corresponding field Total Gross in the Receipt tab. The remaining fields are automatically calculated by Paper Office. Save the changes and add a name for the storage mask. Now click on the green area marked Click to Activate to activate the document template file form.
Paper Office will now reanalyze the document and recognize the template you just added, as well as the associated recognition features, visual and keywords, and the assigned storage mask. The document template just deposited was recognized. Now click on Check Storage Mask Values to check the recognized values after deployment variables. As you can see, the two values were automatically entered according to the deposited variable. The date on the document as well as the date of the incoming mail were read correctly from the document and entered into the fields. Under the tab Receipt, the totals were also entered correctly. This means that if the sum of your future documents correspond to the document template change, these amounts will be entered in the fields. Save the document by clicking on Save. As you can see, reading out the variables from the document and making them available in Paper Office is very easy. Goodbye Paper Chaos! Welcome Digital Office! To find out what additional features Paper Office has, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel.